All right, Pisces, let's do a reading for the weekend. Let's see what's going on for my Pisces Collective. Into the smoke we release all energy that does not serve us, all negativity that surrounds us, and all fears that limit us. So it is. All right, Pisces, stepping into the last weekend of January 2023. What messages do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and Jupiter placements? For Pisces, what messages do we have for Pisces? Holy Spirit, hope everybody is happy, healthy, safe, and doing well. Uh, I want I want to let you guys know I have like the best collective ever. You guys are so awesome. I don't say that enough, but I need to. Um, I feel like you guys already know it, but if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> I appreciate you guys like so much. What in the actual? Okay. So you got, okay, that's way too many. I'm not going to take that. All right, what messages do we have for Pisces? For the last weekend of January, single jumping cards only will be taken in my reading spirit. You already know how I go. All right. Messages, please, for Pisces. First card out, we got the leg. Stepping into a new experience. We have the egg, success assured with good plans and hard work. So some of you guys are stepping into something new. Um, your hard work is paying off. Okay, something here is about to hatch with this egg. And then the carriage, a journey, either physical or mental. So some of you guys may be um, taking a mental vacay or taking an actual trip or just going on a, a journey. I heard excursion. Okay. Excursion. Crown, honor and respect will come to you. All right. Let's get one more. Or Pisces. So just please for Pisces. Too many. Gong, an exciting event. Yeah, some of you guys are like doing something. Like stepping into some type of a new experience, like doing something new, starting something new, accomplishing something new, honor and respect will come to you. Uh, this may have been a long journey as well, like something you've been working on or working towards for some time in the heart, love, deep affection and caring. Bottom of the deck, we have the fair man, dealings or relationship with a, with a man of blonde, gray or white hair. Okay, this could just be someone who's fair and just if they don't, you know, have fair skin, fair hair, or light hair, whatever. Okay, so let's go. Oh. Sorry, y'all. I'm like super sore. I did this ab workout. It's hard to even sit up. <laughs> Is that bad? Yeah, it's bad. I mean, it's good, but it's bad. Okay. So let's jump on into this. I'm not even going to shuffle because I already shuffled these cards. So what is this stepping into a new experience for Pisces for the weekend? An exciting event. All right. All right. Justice. Oh, oh, Pisces, Libra and energy. This is your justice. This is something fair. This is something that is rightfully yours. Okay. Something you've earned. Okay. What else? Oh, three of swords. Maybe after some type of heartbreak or a third party situation, you may have been experience you may have been experiencing some type of delays. Some of you guys could have been dealing with someone who was uh lazy or just someone who lacks common sense. This came out reading yesterday. Someone who's un unreliable, disloyal. This could be someone that broke your heart. You guys are about to receive justice. Justice card is in the upright in your reading. Okay, so some of you guys are stepping into a new experience, and this is this is rightfully yours. This is fair. This is just. This is... Yeah, and I feel like it could have to do with dealing with someone in your life who may have been unreliable, insincere. Uh, the Page of Cups, I don't know if there's a message coming in or an apology possibly, or Six of Pentacles, some type of a gift or a payout. Um, there's a message of good news here, okay? This could be about children. This can even be like a intuitive message that you get. So six of pentacles, something here is, or thanks. Okay, 
Uh, Six of Pentacles. So generosity, gifts. Okay, so there's some type of generosity coming towards you. This is your, this is your justice. Okay, you're gonna be able to sleep well, rest easy. Okay, recuperate, heal from whatever, whatever this is, or maybe that's what you've been doing. Three swords, four swords. You've been healing, working on yourself, meditating. Okay, or you need to. Something's coming in for you, and it looks, it looks good. It's some type of a gift. It could be monetary. It doesn't have to be. This is like an exchange of energy, time, finances. Um, this could even be like a spiritual gift, an intuitive gift. Okay, your intuition's heightened at this time. There may be a need for rest, or maybe you guys are just going to be able to like rest easy. Like, um, relax. Show me success assured with good plans and hard work. Why is the egg here? Why is the egg here? Page of Pentacles. Yes. A new opportunity. Okay. Again, some type of message or good news coming in. Laying the foundation. Some type of plan is being set into motion. Okay. Yeah. Some type of plan. <laughs> I'm digging this reading. Ace of Pentacles. Some type of a golden opportunity is coming in for you. Look at It's like this golden egg. Goose egg. All right. There's a golden opportunity coming in for you guys. Success assured with good plans and hard work. So whatever you've been working towards is already yours, Pisces. Justice. It's already yours. Tell me more. Success assured with good plans and hard work. So I want you guys to know your hard work hasn't been left hasn't gone unnoticed okay if you guys have been feeling like damn when it when is my my like my luck gonna change when is you know i've been doing all this work i've been doing the inner work i've been doing this and doing that but i feel like i'm not really seeing or receiving anything you're about to receive something okay the divine has been setting things up for you the king of swords aquarius super gemini knight of pentacles i can't make this shit up yo it's like something here so you have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Something may have been delayed or stalled, okay? Um, but the King of Swords, something's coming in. You guys have been very structured, very disciplined, shown a lot of strength, okay? Taken, taken authority of your own life, been honest. This is an honest offer coming in. An honest offer, okay? Could be from an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have a lot of uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn out here as well. Okay, show me honor and respect will come to you for Pisces. The King of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You guys have a lot of emotional intelligence. The King of Cups has a lot of deep emotions, but he's in control of his emo emotions. He's mastered them. Okay, um, very you know mature, compassionate, calm, friendly, em empathetic, wise. Someone who's devoted to family, this person, you know, also very intuitive. And the Empress, there's a lot of growth here. Honor and respect will come to you. Okay, there's a lot of growth, fertility here. For some of you guys, there could be, um, I don't know, um, because the King of Cups can sometimes be a father figure uh, and the Empress can be a mother. So I don't know if like you're getting some type of respect or honor from. Sorry, I'm just like watching this TV. I'm like, is that here in Washington? Crazy. OK, um, this may be from like a, a paternal or maternal figure. Um, Coming to show some type of love. Ooh. Nine of Cups and the Devil. I seen that devil earlier on the bottom of the deck, so apparently it wants to come out. Someone here is, uh, you know, the devil does things in excess, right? Nine of Cups. There could, honor and respect will come to you. Okay, hold on a second. What is this Nine of Cups and the Devil? The Nine of Cups, the Devil, the King of Cups, that can mean like a drinking addiction. The world card. You end. Okay. Yes. You've ended something. So if anybody was overindulging, okay, in toxicities, things that are not good for them, 
you've mastered that. You've taken control of it. You've closed that cycle out. Okay, now you can move forward with the Wheel of Fortune. Kudos to you, Pisces. Look at you. Interesting. Okay, show me a journey, either physical or mental. Eight of Cups. So some of you guys may be going on like a spiritual journey, walking away from things that just don't, you know, that aren't serving you. The Moon card, using your intuition. This is like subconsciously, you know, that you need to like walk away from something emotionally. Taking a vacation, either physical or mental. So some of you guys are just like um, Eight of Pentacles doing that work. Okay. Focused on. Um, focused on uh, your craft, whatever it is that you're, you know, putting work into with this Eight of Pentacles. We've got two eights here in the moon. Some of you guys may be. Um, I'm getting the energy that some of you guys may have been like working hard on. On your skills, like on your this is like a spiritual energy that I'm picking up. So I'm blocking your chakras, healing, meditating, rejuvenating, connecting with self, um, connecting with your higher self, with your archangels, with God, you know, whoever it is in your, um, your guides. This is like spiritual work, the subconscious, the unknown, tapping into, um, and, and, and walking away from things that like, you feel that don't, uh, you know, if it's not for you or if it's not aiding in your healing or in your forward movement, then it's it's not needed in in your life, you know. So like I hope I'm making sense. It's like letting go of things that like. Sometimes we like things or, or there's things in our life or things that. You know, our inherited you know, family or friends or whatever. You know, there's things in our life and then it's like coming to that awareness that like I may need to walk away from something because I know that there's something better out there. I don't know what it is with the moon card. I don't know what it is. Intuitively, I know, but it, I don't know. It's like the unseen, the subconscious, you know, um, and you guys are you guys are working on that, like working towards that. Tell me more. Six of Cups. Returning to your roots, regaining some type of innocence is what I'm also getting. Not saying that we're innocent or anything, but it's like tapping into like that, especially if you're like closing out a cycle with some type of overindulging type of energy here, this Nine of Cups devil, the Wheel of Fortune, the world. It's like stepping into that like Empress, Emperor energy. Man or woman, honor and respect will come to you. So it's like stepping, being mature, okay? Being mature. Being very fertile, growing, work, focused on your growth. A lot of you guys have been like doing something routinely as well, like putting in effort consistently. Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. It's like whatever you've been working towards consistently, routinely doing something, changing your routine. Okay, so let's just say like an exercise program, um, being more consistent with you know, your health or being more consistent, meditating, being more consistent, whatever, whatever is in your path. And for all of us, it's different, but it's like whatever is aiding to your, to your healing process. Um, some of you guys could have been dealing with heartbreak in the past, um, but you chose to move forward. 
with this leg here. It's like you chose to move forward. There could have been some setbacks or some type of delays. But overall, I feel like you guys are healing. And this is like something here is rightfully yours. Something's coming towards you and you've earned it. Honor and respect is coming to you. Like you've worked for something here. I'm really getting like worked towards bettering yourself, you know, and for all of us, it could be different, you know, um, you know, changing the way you speak to yourself, how you talk to others, how you, um, you know, your routine, how, how do you balance your work life with your family life? You know, it's like you guys have been working consistently on trying to get healthier or at least whoever the group I'm talking to. Okay. If you haven't been, maybe this is a message to you to start doing that. The heart is here at the end of this reading. Um, let's see. So I feel like there could be some type of love coming in, possibly. This could even be finding that newfound love for yourself. <laughs> you got a boss daddy coming in. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Five of Swords. Okay. Tell me more. Someone may be jealous of your status. Or someone may have tried to do something underhanded to, like, sabotage your business, your home, your stability, your loyalty, okay? Like, tried to get you out of character. But, again, with this King of Pentacles in the upright, you've remained grounded. Hmm. Taurus energy, okay? The hair font. Someone may have even tried to like sabotage your belief systems as well. Ten of Wands cause a lot of burdens, try to weigh you down, stress you out. And it's stemming from like some type of jealousy or sabotaging behavior, bullying, intimidating you. But it's like you remain balanced here. You you remain strong in your in your morals, your belief systems. Okay. You, some of you guys could be teachers as well. Or, you know, some type of a, a teacher, like you guys may be teaching others, uh, teaching a yoga class, you know, teaching healthy eating plans, teaching, um, you know, some type of dietary something or something. It's like whatever you're doing, you may not even realize that you're doing it, but you guys are doing something that's actually helping the, the collective, helping the public, okay? And this may just be something that you, you're inspired by, you know, like I'm in, you know, okay? For instance, me, I'm inspired, you know, to do tarot. And so I'm doing this because I like it. I'm also helping others. Okay. So this is something that you may like to do. It's in you, not on you. You know, it's not like I'm going here to get a paycheck every day, but I fucking hate my job. You know, it's like some of you guys are doing something that you really enjoy doing. And it's actually beneficial for, for others in their healing in some form or fashion. Some of you guys may be nurses or doctors, um, or, um, I just heard pediatrician. Some of you guys could even, I heard daycare too. Some of you guys may work in a daycare. It's like teaching children, you know, how, okay, don't eat that other kid's sucker. You know, like, it's like you guys are, you're doing something that's helping others. And you, you may look at it as something small, but it's actually really big. And somebody tried to like sabotage you or, or stress you out. But you have a lot of love, the heart here, love, deep affection and caring. It's like you guys have a lot of love for what you're doing. You care. OK. And that's why it's working out for you. So maybe this isn't like a new person coming in. I feel like someone tried to sabotage your sabotage, your like loyalty, your morals, your values, your structure. Five of swords, like for real, four of swords. I feel like you, some of you, I feel like you're just unbothered by this. Some of you guys maybe this, but this four of swords that keeps coming out, someone may be stressed out because you're like regrouping, recuperating from whatever they tried to do. It's like you, sir, excuse me, you surpassed them. You surpassed. It's like, I'm, I'm seeing, um, when you put, uh, you know, those little things, I don't know what they're called, forgive me, um, those things that like runners and then they have to go and run over them, those hurdle things. Um, I'm seeing those and it's like someone kept putting like roadblocks in your way and you just kept fucking leaping over them shit. It's like, 
and kept going. Because, it, yeah, it's like that dedication over here. It's like you just kept going. Even if, you know, no matter what people said, no matter what people did, no matter what happened in your personal life or whatever this monkey nut. <laughs> okay, spirit, I'm so done. This monkey nut, really? Yeah, tower. You blocked, you blocked this shit. You blocked this tower. You led by love, you know? You guys are very caring, very genuine, okay? You guys stood your ground for something that was possibly meant to destruct you. <laughs> Go Pisces. I want to do like the Colonel Sanders. <laughs> All right, don't stop. All right, let's get a few cards from the Fortune Cookie Deck. If you guys like this reading, if it helps give you clarity, inspiration, let me know. Smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. All right, so we got Reflection. Reflection. Friendships in your life may come to an end. Others could blossom and become stronger. It's like, yeah, you guys are deleting uh, things in your life. It's like, <laughs> I'm saying delete, 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 delete. But it's like in that um, Pac-Man frame or something like, or Atari. What the fuck is that? Is that Atari? Choo, choo, choo. Okay, I'm just going to stop, but okay, anyways, some of you guys are just like deleting, um, things in your life that don't serve you. If it doesn't, you know, help propel you forward, or if it doesn't help you become stronger, healthier, I feel like a lot of you guys went through some really tough shit over the last like four, you know, uh, two to, I would say two to five years. A lot of you guys have gone through some really tough shit, but it only made you stronger. Some friendships may come to an end and others could blossom and become stronger. It's like you guys have became stronger and you guys had to go through some shit in order to, you know, gain that strength. So don't, it's like, don't sit there and like uh, sit in that energy of this didn't turn out, this didn't turn out. It's like you will understand why later on. Because you'll look back and be like, oh, I'm so, oh my gosh, and you got the health card. I'm so much stronger now, you know? All right, health, an excellent time to start an exercise program or diet. <laughs> what was I saying? Many new friendships are on the horizon. Yeah, many new friendships because you guys are out with the old and with the new, getting rid of shit that doesn't serve you and making room for new friendships, okay? Some of you guys, again, like I was saying earlier, maybe starting some type of health regimen or some type of dieting or some of you guys may do that for a living to help others. Assert yourself. Go for what you want. The time is right for soulmate connections. The birth of a child is also likely. I was kind of getting that with this Empress energy. There's something here about a mother and a father or a masculine fem feminine energy. Like some of you guys are very abundant, balancing out like your masculinity and your femininity. Okay. Whether you're a man or a woman doesn't matter. It's like you guys are very balanced, very fruit fertile and fruitful at this time. You guys have closed old doors so that like new cycles can begin. Okay. Uh, with this devil nine of cups, if I read this differently, some of you guys may just be obsessed um, with getting what you want. The nine of cups being fulfilled, happy. Um, like, okay, it's like, I want to look better in a bikini this summer. So it's like, some of you guys have been very focused and driven to like, I will fucking get this done. Like, nobody's going to stop me. Some of you guys have been very, like, dedicated. Thank you. That's the word. In love life. <sighs> Affairs of the heart could cause future problems. Take heart as difficult situations will be resolved by a good decision this week. So I don't know if there's something here that could be resurfacing because you do have the Three of Swords, Page of Cups. I don't know if a message is coming in from somebody who the Knight of Pentacles reversed. Hold on a second. Um... You got it in the Page of Cups. This could be someone who's younger, doesn't have to be, or even just, you know, less emotionally mature. All right. This person could be someone who's unstable, disloyal, unreliable, lazy. Okay. This person may be coming in with a message or a gift wanting to heal a situation because they're feeling heartbroken because you're stepping into a new, new experience. This is letting you know, make the right decision here, Pisces. Something here is your justice. You're stepping into a new experience because you've closed cycles out, not because you step back into them. Okay? Don't fuck up your own blessings. You do have the tower on the bottom as, you know, don't block your blessings here. Okay? So I'm going to leave this reading here. If it helped, give you clarity in any way. 
Let me know, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.